Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to add a shop and I add uh, uh, action button in your game. Going to the world, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, coin. Some of the coin are on the up, and I want to uh, access them by uh, a special power. As I said before, we have an action called magnet. Okay, called magnet. You can add an action button and use the magnet here with a click. Go to the word UI. In a word UI, for example, here, you can add a button. Go into the word UI and disable the sound. Here in a button, you can add uh, action button. It means if you click on this, you can uh, access any action that you want. In action, which action do you want to use? Magnet. This list is exactly this list of the word that we insert our action. Those are our action that I explained them before. I want to use this action that I'm called and rename it to the action, to the magnet. As you can see, it's the magnet and everything set up before. You can refer to the previous lesson and I want to add an action button and click here that on a click the action will be a call and you can use it going to the here I need to add a icon to that that magnet where is that you can find that magnet yeah here you can add your magnet here oops it's very big and if you click on this you can use your magnet you can use the selected click don't need to also add it or stick to the edges is important that action I set it to the this magnet it means which action do you want to call when you click that layering above the character is okay if you want to click this sound or release this sound play and uh, you can assign a keyboard or a key to that and the most important things are here uh, it's a label uh, how much action do you have it shows here uh, uh, for example six pixel show the six pixel above this uh, you can see that now and the scale and uh, label vertical spacing you can set it you have to see what's happened here okay if you t uh, if you click all limited use whenever uh, every time that you click you have that action but we have to add the limitation to that maximum refill how many action do you want to use for example two of them if you click one two you can use two time that action refill timeout uh, you can add a, a small number I'll, i explained it before it means when you click on this um, your touch in this icon uh, it's the time of the holding that you have to use a little number refill at a start it means if you start it suddenly use the action so see what's happened when we play we here this is our action as you can see the action button will be uh, activated in a second and another click it will be click an action and here it's a little small As you can see, we have to test it. I just want to use two of time. Time of one, set it to the zero. Label scale, test it to the two. Mm -hmm. Make it 10. test it I want to show a number that it is in two 
after. Okay, everything is right. The magnet. Yeah, as you can see, the number show here. One, two, and finish. Okay, we finish our uh, magnet power here. You can, uh, this is a label. This number is labeled. You can uh, test it with this label offsetting X and Y, the scale it and the uh, vertical spacing. Okay, it's finished. It's finished and I want to buy it. <clears throat> and now I will explain how to add a buy icon. Go into the map. In a word you are or anywhere that you want, you can add a buy icon here. First, we have to add a right click and add a new UI and uh, call it shop. Call it shop. In a word UI, we have to add what? Navigation button that navigates us to that shop. You can add a shop icon that you want. It's not important which icon. <clears throat> you can use this. As a shop icon, be careful about your dimension of your design here. It's a shop icon. You can shop anything that you want. This is a navigation button. It's moved on a default. If you go into the map, as you can see, a hole will appear here. You can select it and <coughs> call it, oops, shop and go into the map and you can add the shop to the, this new url going to the shop uh, we have to add a button another navigation button because i want to back to the game back to the game back one it means if you buy yourself you back your in a game okay and <clears throat> add a graphic that means i want to back and add a background okay i insert the background and two icon set it this image at the back this is our magnet icon when you click on this you can buy it <coughs> here you can lock it lock it here to don't select that here it's our magnet you can uh, click and drag it to, to buy this magnet for buying that i insert this icon here to the buy oh it's very dark here you can add the brightness to that okay if you click on this icon you can buy it oh sorry i have to insert a purchase button <clears throat> Here you can add a label and describe yourself. For example, you can say buy uh, magnet power for 10 uh, coin. You can describe your yourself. <clears throat> And after that, you can, you have to add a purchase button here to a shop. Going to the button, you can simply add a purchase button here. And now here you have to add a purchase graphic here that you want or insert a purchased graphic. Which one is? You can... Find and now add our purchased graphic here. You can make it one to more bright, and that's it. This is our purchased button. If I click on this, I want I can purchase. Go into the purchase settings here. Image. If you click, you can add another graphic. Uh, in its action, you can its sound or other properties from here in action it means which action do you want to buy i want to buy magnet 
Do you have to set it to your magnet? This is an action type. Or if you want to remove uh, adverse timing, no, I want to action. <clears throat> you can set it sound. And here, it's the most important properties here. Keyboard, K okay, if you want to assign it. You can buy and use it. It's immediately after buy, you can use it. No, uh, if you click once, it means one quantity, one time you can buy it. If you click one, or if you buy it, you can, for example, if you two, if you click it, it gives you two power. Purchase complete, you can add the uh, uh, sound that you want, a little shoot sound, or anything that you want. Okay, the purchase method is very important. It's free, it's one to use, or you, you or no, you have to set it. I tell buy magnet power for 10 coin so i want to add it uh, uh, in a game currency in app purchase or it's a little off of the screen sorry or a rewarded video uh, for these two things you have to add to advertisement build boss advertisement system but here is the most important thing in a game currency and tells you uh, what which is the price the price is 10. The price is 10 coin. You can add a 10 coin. On here, you can set a one time purchase. It's a default, or one time you can, or per game purchase. I want to make it. No, it's a default. Whenever you back, you can buy it. Okay, go and play and see what happened here. It's connected to the coin system, the purchase system, the coin. If you start, as you can see, our score is a zero and it's our power. It's in a two, one, use it. And we have eight. You can uh, jump and it's finished another. And oh, I have to disable the win observer here we have a win observer it's can delete it play again because if you collect uh, uh, some coin we win one power use I collect uh, one more and it's done okay and as you can see our power is turned off and we have to bite it's a navigation system clicking it's in our shop Oh, we have to uh, see our score here. How many score do we have? Going to the shop and here you can add a uh, label. You can add your uh, score, your score. You can add your score. Another label here and set it your score. Set that as a score, all word, distance, no, but coin, best, no, um, current. I explained the difference between them, and everything is correct. And we can play it. Going to the start, our score is zero, and I spent, I, I spent all of our power here, and as you can see, it's black, it means it's finished. And I want to buy it, as you can see, your score here and your score also appear here. And you can buy power here, as you can see. Oh, something is wrong. It has to spend our time here. As you can see, it's uh, we buy two of them. Yeah, something is a problem. I don't know why, but it doesn't uh, reduce the number of the score here. I think it's a bug. When you click it, for example, you have to spend 10 coins of that. Our score system is uh, for coins. Yeah. Coins, action, is everything right? Reward. But is everything right? If you want, you can buy it there. It's very simple. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, 
You will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.